Civic groups are planning a protest for pedestrian rights on August 20th. They want the government to address Taiwan's reputation as a hell for pedestrians by passing a dedicated law for traffic safety. At a press conference promoting the event, lawmakers said 400 pedestrians are killed on Taiwan's roads each year, with another 1,000 left paralyzed after getting hit by vehicles. Responding to the upcoming event, Transport Minister Wang Guocai pledged to take in all the public suggestions in order to create a safer space for pedestrians. In total, firefighters in Taiwan were called out on emergencies 1.3 million times. Surprisingly, 30 percent of those calls, involving about 300,000 people, were due to traffic accidents. A firefighter furnishes stats on traffic accidents as part of a campaign for pedestrian rights. The Vision Zero Association will hold a protest called Stop Killing Pedestrians on August 20th at Taipei's Katagalan Boulevard. The group wants transport officials to erase Taiwan's reputation as a living hell for pedestrians. Every year, 400 pedestrians die on Taiwan's roads. There are 3,000 injuries or deaths every year, and more than 1,000 people are left paralyzed. Lawmakers spoke out from across party lines. They said that last year, 394 pedestrians were killed in traffic accidents. From this January to May alone, two children died after being run over, and more than 500 children were injured after being hit by vehicles. Taiwan People's Party lawmaker Lai Xiangling has experienced firsthand the dangers of Taiwan's streets. I'm in a wheelchair because I fractured my hip bone. I had to get surgery and get two fasteners installed. The scar on my face is because I was on my scooter taking my child home from school and we had an accident. My helmet visor broke and cut my face. Lai spoke about the difficulty of using a wheelchair in Taiwan. Uneven paving on sidewalks forces wheelchair users onto the road, where they come in close quarters with motor vehicles. Ruling and opposition lawmakers called on the government to apply the three E's of traffic management, engineering, education and enforcement. Already they have elicited some response. In late June, the government raised the top fine for failing to yield to pedestrians to 6,000 NT. In the months since, Taipei alone has issued 2,497 fines for failing to yield. The central government has provided 40 billion NT to local governments so that they can make improvements to transport infrastructure and engineering projects. But there isn't enough coordination and communication between central and local governments. As the ruling party, we should strongly request that improvements are implemented. The appeals of the street demonstration are consistent with the position of the Ministry of Transport, that is, respecting the right of way of pedestrians. We will review all the suggestions brought up with a humble mind. With an eye on achieving people-centered transport, the government said it would listen to the public's appeals. Activists are demanding the urgent passage of a traffic safety law to make Taiwan's roads safer for pedestrians.